Hi, you're welcome to the channel. This is a very good day because today we are starting a new series and it's called Dissecting the Red Carpet. Now, because of how 2020 has been, um, there have been no red carpet, no award shows, nothing like that. So we have not had the crazy dresses that we are used to every single year. So because of that, I, I decided to go back in time to the years before to remake some of the iconic dresses that uh, raised our eyes back in the day. So for the very first dress, we are going to remake this Valentino dress that was worn by Selena Gomez. Okay. If you always wanted to know how to make something like this, this is your chance. Now, this is part one of two videos. The next video is going to drop um, this weekend. Now a lot of people pass through a lot of difficulty when trying to learn this skill and I'm fully aware of that So as for you beginners that want to learn for your for yourself or if you are a person that has a business But you you know you, you have employed staff But you want to add some knowledge to whatever you are doing so that in case your staff want to play games with you You'll be completely in charge. Um, I'm offering a long term course for three months six months and for one year If you are interested, please call the number on the screen and just so that you know what you are getting into I'm going to be giving away um, some free classes so that you would decide if the online way of learning is the way for you but I can assure you it's extremely convenient so if you're interested don't forget to call the number and I will see you guys then bye so first of all to begin what I have here is my paper okay this is my pattern paper and I've simply folded it in half okay I simply folded it in half as you can see the front edge that you have here is still sealed okay so the first step the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draft a bodice block of course this is a dress so at the top part right here I'm going to make a mark at the edge of the fabric I'm going to make a mark at half an inch from top to bottom okay and then this line is where I'm going to place my shoulder the space from the edge of the paper to where I have marked this line is half an inch now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark all my um, vertical measurements now my vertical measurements are measurements like my underboss length okay so my underboss length is 13 so I'm going to come to where 13 is I'm going to make a mark I'm going to count four inches from here and I'm going to place my bust my bust point okay so one two three four this is where I'm going to place my bust measurements all right so now the next measurement I'm going to place is after my a uh, under bust round okay I'm going to come down one two I'm going to place my half length here okay now the next line I'm going to mark is my the line my hip line from this point here I'm going to come to where nine inches is and I'm going to make a mark here at nine inches that is where I'm going to place my hip all right so place the first line that I have here is where I place is where I will place my bust point okay I have um, in case you want to understand what's really going on here you're gonna see my video on how to draft the bodies it will explain this in detail all right so now I have marked all my points all right so the next thing is I'm going to have to place all my measurements across so this line that we have here is the line where I'm going to place my bust this line what we have here is the line for my under bust round my half cut and my um, and my hip measurements all right so the first measurement i'm going to place is my shoulder measurements now my shoulder measurement is 14 14 divided by 2 is 7 because the shoulder is always divided by 2 so i'm going to come up here and make a mark at 7 the next thing i'm going to place is my bust measurements now the bust is 32 32 divided by 4 is 8 the bust is always divided by 4 then next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to come to the under bust round okay i'm going to place the under bust round measurements the under bust round measurement is 27 27 divided by 27 divided by um, 4 is 6.75 I'm going to make I make a mark at where 6.75 is and then I'm going to place the exact same measurement at my half length okay so the same thing again 6.75 now the next thing I'm going to place is my hip measurements all right so my hip measurement is 36 36 divided by 4 is 9 I'm going to come to where 9 is and I'm going to make a mark all right so now we're going to come back up here to the shoulder okay so now we've all seen that this dress is um an off shoulder and doesn't really have a shoulder but we have to fulfill all righteousness okay so that everything sits in place as um, as we proceed so i'm going to use a random neckline of three inches we are not going to really use a neck anyway i'm just placing just placing anything there so if you are if you want to replicate this um, same thing for yourself you can still do the same thing at that point all right so i have that and then I make a curve. We're not really. Yeah, I'm going to use the neckline. 
I'm just trying to make sure that everything is sitting as where it's supposed to sit. So the next step is to slope the shoulder. So I came from up here and I made a mark from this half inch line here. I made a mark at where um, at one inch after that. That is where I'm going to slope my shoulder to. Okay, so we have we had the line here. I came to one inch after that and I made a point. Then I rolled this line that we have here. Now the next thing I'm, I'm going to do is to place my armhole. Now how do we find the armhole? The formula for finding the armhole is the bust divided by six plus one point five. At the end of the day, we have six point eight. Okay, but I'm going to approximate that to seven. All right. So we draw a straight line from here to here. Okay, and then we draw a line out. Now, as for the line I'm rolling now, as for this line, this line is going to be controlled by all these dots down here. So you don't really need to be worried about where to stop this or how deep you should draw it. Okay, so now the next step or the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to connect all the dots that I had before. So I connect here to here, here to here, and here to here. All right, now the next thing is to focus on the armhole. All right, so even though it's an off shoulder, I'm going to still treat my armhole okay so my armhole is um seven the middle of seven is 3.5 so i'm going to come to here that's seven divided by two 3.5 i come to here make a mark from this point okay from this point i'm going to go in by half an inch okay so from this point here i make a mark at half an inch and then i'm going to draw my curve all right okay so now we are done almost done with the um, bodies block the last thing is to determine the length because if you notice we stopped at the hip we don't have the length yet okay so the length of my dress is 36 i have a small table here we are going to make it work okay so 36 and my hip point is sitting at 24 as you guys can see here all right so i keep my finger on that point there you might not do this if you, um, you might need to do it if you have enough room okay so i keep my finger on that point all right i'm going to move all um, everything down okay my finger is still on that point i'm going to come to the part here where i want my dress length to be so my dress length is 36 okay so i've made a mark at 36 all right then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to rule another straight line here from the top all the way down to the bottom all right so when i'm done with that you come to the bottom part here now remember at the hip we place nine because the hip was 36 36 divided by four is nine you're going to come down to the bottom and you're going to place the exact same thing all right now if you've noticed the style that we are working with okay it's not really really tapered at the at the down part okay so it's just slightly tapered and that's what we're going to do okay now you see this part here at the bottom part here now I'm going to come here and place nine now usually when you're making a pencil dress that taper that's at the bottom that that curve it has at the bottom that makes it a pencil dress you're supposed to come from this line now in by two inches meaning that if we have nine here as a plus you are supposed to place um seven here that's nine minus two seven if the hip was 40 which you divided by four is 10 down here you will place eight but with the dress that we're working with and the bottom is not so extremely curved so down here i'm going to use 1.5 you can still use two for yours and it would be just fine but for mine i want to use 1.5 i'm going to make a mark at 1.5 at the bottom all right and then i'm going to draw a straight line from here all the way down okay so now this is the basic shape we are working with now as you guys have seen uh it is an off shoulder okay it doesn't have a shoulder it doesn't have a sleeve it doesn't have anything like that so we are going to have to modify these bodies uh to give us what we want okay so from the shoulder here i'm going to come to where minus six is okay and i'm going to make a mark at minus six you see this part have you seen this shoulder that we have here i came to where six inches is and i've made a mark at that point right there all right so now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to come from this place here okay come to the front again make a mark here at six inches okay and we're going to come here you're going to make a subtle curve from this point to here okay so we have a line here now so that that line doesn't come out too sharp we have to soften it a bit so i'm going to soften the line which is what i'm doing okay we don't want it to be too sharp if not we'll have a v in front of it which is not what we want okay so from here I make a line up to here and I soften it up. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the boss point to boss point. Now you've seen the front of this dress. There are drapes everywhere. So what we're going to do or what we are doing now, this pattern we're constructing will be used to build the lining. When you are trying to make an outfit that is draped, you need to make sure that you construct your lining or whatever you're going to put underneath because that is the part that will create the supports that the dress needs. Um, and then the drape and the, and the fluidity will not be built on top of that. So, uh, so our lining will be built solidly around her body and then we'll drape everything else on top of that. So this 
part that we're cutting now will be used to cut the lining meaning that we'll have to shorten these lengths that we have that we have just finished doing but that's going to come up later on as we progress so now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to place bus point to bus point okay that's the distance from one bus to another her bus span okay whatever you want to call it that's the distance from one nipple to the other nipple now this measurement here the um the number is six inches okay so we're going to divide six by two and add half inch to it so six divided by two is three plus half is 3.5 so you're going to come to the very top here make a mark at 3.5 we're simply going to do this from top to bottom so now that we're done drawing all the points from top to bottom i'm going to rule the line connecting all all these points from the bottom again all the way to the top all right now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a um some sort of um uh, bust underneath okay now the dress as you um, as you can see is sitting around the contours of her body we're going to need to make our lining to sit exactly like that all right so now the next step of what i'm going to do is i'm going to come to the very top here see this part here at the very top of the um, fabric i'm going to keep half inch okay so our tip from here to here is one inch distance okay i'm going to come to the center uh, which is half an inch and i'm going to place it here i'm going to make a mark at half an inch make a mark at half an inch so with this the center line that we had i have made two marks there's one here and there's another one here now we're going to come to the under bust um, area and we're going to mark one inch on both sides okay so you're going to place this one inch in the center line that's this line that we just finished ruling and we're going to mark it on both sides so we're going to mark one inch here we're going to mark one inch here we're going to repeat this exact same process all the way down to the bottom now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to rule a line from here to here see this point where we mark the half inch out half inch out we're going to connect this point to the center point because this is where the bus is going to sit all right so i'm going to come here draw a line from here to here we're going to rule another line from up here to the bus point as you can see these two lines are coming towards the center point this point here this is where the bus is going to sit all right so from this point i'm going to come out to here from here come out to here so this is what i'm doing now coming out from here to here and this one is going to come out from here to here i'm going to rule a straight line from here now all the way down to the bottom all right so i'm simply going to run a line from this one inch connecting all these other one inches to the bottom on both sides So now this is the block that we are dealing with so we're almost done the last thing is to replace all the uh, measurements that we have all right so this is what we're going to do so first of all up here we took away one inch because when we kept marked half half that's one i'm going to come here make a mark at one inch okay so from this point here from when the armhole stops i've made a mark at where one inch is now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come to the underboss round here we took away two inches one inch here one inch here one plus one two we're going to come here make a mark at two inches we're going to come here i'm going to mark these two inches on every point where i took away one okay so remember i took away one one all the way down i'm going to mark these two inches on all those points When we're done with that we're going to connect all the dots that we have just marked all these dots are just marked we'll connect them together so here as you can see i um, have drawn a line across all the points that we marked after this we're going to keep our um, regular sewing allowance now at this point you keep whatever sewing allowance that you're comfortable with but i also advise that you keep 1.5 like what i am keeping okay i'm going to keep 1.5 at every point from top all the way down to the bottom again All right, so at this point i have kept my regular sewing allowance so now it's time for me to cut everything out all right so now when it's time to cut out what we're going to do is first of all let's focus on the top all right so you see this line that we have here you see this line that we have i'm going to come half inch on top of that line i'm not cutting on the line exactly i'm coming to half inch on top of the of the green line okay and i'm going to first chop this with half inch allowance at the top everywhere all right so as you can see we have the top part now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to trim out the shape now okay so please watch look at where my scissors is landing exactly i'm going to come from up here to this okay and now i'm going to go all the way down to the bottom now when at the bottom we can now chop off this end now remember i told you guys that we're reducing the length of the of the um of the of the pattern okay when we're cutting the lining now back to the top again okay 
okay so now when we're back to the beginning we're going to come to this end here you see this end that we have here we're going to come here and we're going to make a cut at this point okay and then we're going to enter into this point cut all the way down The last thing we're going to have to do is to cut the sides, okay? So you see this shape on the side, we're going to need to cut that too. Now, it's time to cut. These are the patterns for the front, first of all. These are the patterns for the front. So I'm going to go ahead to cut the pattern for the back. Now, when you are cutting the pattern for the back, it's basically the same thing as the front, okay? It's going to be almost the same thing. The only difference is that it's going to be a zipper allowance. But this dots that we did in front, that this dots here that we have with this shape and everything, we'll not uh, need to do that at the, at the back. So that's going to be where we'll have another difference. But I'm going to draft the basic back and I'm going to bring you guys and um, show you guys what to do next. Okay, now what we have here is my lining for the back and as you, and as you can see I folded it like I folded the front the front edge and uh, the front end of my lining is sealed but the only difference okay the, one of the only differences that you're going to see is that we're going to need to keep our zipper allowance before we start drafting so before I will start drafting I'm going to fold 1.5 to 2 inches underneath you can select whatever you're comfortable with okay if you are a beginner and you don't really trust yourself I'll advise that you keep a whole 2 inches but if you feel that you're a bit um, that you trust yourself you can keep only 1.5 I'm going to fold this from the bottom all the way to the top before I start drafting and that's what I'm doing now so as you can see here I've finished drafting my block for the back and of course that's the amount that I folded at the bottom for my zipper allowance all right so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to you see this point here now this is the um, point where the frame back is going to meet the um, front okay unlike the front the back doesn't have um, a bust okay so I'm not going to try to be modest to go up so at this point here I'm going to rule a straight line from here straight to the bottom at the armhole okay so a straight line that's what, what I'm doing here. If you want, at this point, you can even give it a slight curve if you wanted to have that U at the back, okay? So you can make, give it a slight curve at the back if you want to do that, if you fancy something like that. Now, um, usually, whenever I'm placing my darts, I start from 7 inches after the shoulder, meaning that after the shoulder, I come 7 and start my dart from there. But as you can see, we're well over 7. And at this point, it's close to 8 inches, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to mark the boss points, um, the boss span divided by 2 plus half an inch. So it brought us to 3.5. I'm going to do the same thing, mark it from top to bottom. Okay, so I mark it from here, okay, here, here okay so that's where we're going to stop so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to keep my tape like so okay our dart is supposed to run from here from seven down to around 19 okay which is where we want our dart to stop so we're going to try to emulate the same thing okay so we're going to come from here and draw a straight line from here and we're going to stop it at 19 okay so when we stop the we're going to need to draw out the, the shape now as for the back we are not going to need to cut out the dots i'm just marking the points of um how your dots should behave all right so we're going to come to this point here okay we're going to come to this point here you see this point here that the points around the half cuts i'm going to come here and i'm going to mark half an inch on both sides of this line okay so i place middle of one on this line and marked half inch on both sides okay so i'm simply going to draw, draw a line from here to here okay draw another line from here to here now like i said this that is not for you to cut out okay this is simply showing you how your that should behave okay so in the video on how to sew this you're going to see how i do uh, how I, I apply my darts at the back now as you can see at this point here we took out only one inch so we're going to come here i'm going to make a mark at one inch okay we're going to come draw a straight line just to replace it back we're going to draw a straight line from this point here down to here and then we're going to finish it off before we get to the hip okay now now that we're done with this part the next thing we're going to do is you're going to unfold your zip space okay now if you can see we have the line that crease that has been made into the fabric because of the ironing that i because of i iron this this crease at that point now so the next step is to rule a line like i have done okay when you do that we're going to need to extend these lines all the way down to the end of your zipper allowance okay and so i've ruled um my lines to complete the horizontal lines that we had now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to also come to this point now you see this point here okay that's at the half cut here 
this point where i took out this that is the same thing i'm going to come to this other part here i'm going to take out only half an inch at this point okay so half an inch at this point okay so half inch here we're going to draw a line okay so this is the bust on that bust round half cut hip line please don't get it don't mix it up i'm ruling a line from here to this point okay and then i'm going to taper out this line before we get to the hip all right so that is it basically you can see let me simply extend my line to the bottom we're going to need to add our allowance okay so i'm adding 1.5 from this line that we have here you see this line that we have here so we're going to come from there we're going to mark 1.5 everywhere now i'm going to rule a straight line from here to here When we're done with that now we can cut okay so first of all to begin we're going to come to the bottom so when you get to the top you also need to go to keep half an inch at this point The next part we are going to cut is our zipper allowance. Now, at the zipper allowance, what you're going to do again is you're going to come to the bottom because there's no slits at the back. We don't need this place to be like this. So you're going to come to this part here. At the bottom end of your of your um, skirt of the dress, you're going to make a mark one inch at the bottom. It's just so that it doesn't fall. But if we had done if we had not done it it would still be fine okay i'm just adding it just to fine tune everything but if you want to ignore that step because what this is going to do is that this is going to make it go into um under your bum a bit okay but if you want to if you want the bum to just you know fall straight down you can then ignore this step so now we are done it's time to cut our lining so here i have my lining now as for the lining i'm using this is cotton lining okay so this is basically um soft cotton fabric light space cotton fabric that i'm going to use and i'm going to need to iron my um non-woven interfacing onto this okay so this is lightweight non-woven interfacing if you are in nigeria ask them for soft gum stay okay so that's what i'm using and i'm going to bind them together if you look at it there's a part of it that has that's um has that has some adhesive to it we are going to need to bind them together okay Okay, so this heat activated so i'm going to simply iron this onto my gum stay before i start cutting my lining so here we as you can see i have ironed on my um non-woven interfacing my lightweight non-woven interfacing onto my um lining remember i said i was using cotton lining now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to cut all the parts that i'm dealing with okay simply fold this part all right Fast forward, you know, this motor. Okay, when you're done with that, you're going to take the center pattern. Okay, now this is the center. Okay, if you guys can remember, this is the center part that has this shape. I remember I told you that it to be shorter by two inches. Okay, but instead of bending two inches, what you're going to do is you're going to fold one inch underneath. Okay, so this is only one inch. The reason why I'm keeping one inch is because we're actually going to need to hem our lining. Now, as you can see, I have folded the pattern. Now I'm going to simply remember one inch under here. I'm going to simply cut out this shape exactly the same. I'm not adding or subtracting anything. Always remember to pin down your patterns. Don't be like me. Don't, it's not everything that you will see me doing that you will follow. Now, I'm going to repeat the exact same thing for this side, okay? Now, this is the other side. The exact same thing for the back, okay? I'm simply going to bend them in one inch and use this to cut my lining for all the sides. So, so that's what I'm doing. Remember, bend one inch at the bottom, cut it exactly the same. All right, so here we have a uh, lining, okay? So this is the pattern I used to cut it. The pattern is shorter, okay? So this is the pattern that was used to cut it. Remember, like I like I told you, they should be um, exactly the same. Sorry, that was the wrong way. Yeah, this is the right way. They should be exactly the same. Look at it, there's no difference around any of the sides. Now, the next step is we're going to use this pattern, okay? We're going to use this pattern now to cut our fabric, okay? So this is the fabric. 
so now when you're folding the fabric fold enough only fold um o- only the amount that you that you need so that you economize but if you want to check if you are good you place this one on top and you know adjust everything until you have just enough now the this um the pattern i'm cutting next is going to be exactly like the like the pattern that we have on top of here the only difference that we're going to have that's going to be longer than the pattern by two inches two whole inches okay so we'll add extra two inches down here all right so please that's what you're going to do next so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to cut the pattern two inches at the bottom exactly the same all right so as you can see exactly what i said i would do uh, the pattern is exactly the same all around the only difference that we have is that at the bottom here we have the two inches of excess now the next step what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, iron my neat um, feasible interfacing onto this okay also known as st okay okay so here you can see that we have the back over here and once again let me um say that i used knitted um knitted fusible interfacing okay so that's uh, what would you say if you're in nigeria look for st if you are looking for this so now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to need to place all my dart points okay so now this is what we're going to do we're simply going to place this pattern down okay we're simply going to place this pattern down we still have the excess at the bottom there so I place this pattern down and we need to make a mark at all the points, okay? So our dart starting from the very top, we start the dart from the top here, okay? And the dart is supposed to stop here. So this is the pattern I used to draft. I'm simply going to come here, put my finger there, and then I'm going to make a mark at where it is stopping. So the after that, the next thing is you're going to need to make a mark at the fullest point where your dart is, okay? So the dart at the fullest point is here. So this is going to be where the fullest dart, the point of the dart is. Now the next thing is we're going to need to hold the dart, but we're going to need to ret- um, retrace this on the other side, okay? So we simply flip it over to the other side. So this is the points that we previously marked. You're going to come to the other side and make a mark at that point there, okay? Keep your finger there, make a mark at where you're holding the other dart, and then the fullest point of the dart is right around here. See this point here where we have that chalk mark here? Yeah, that's the point. We're going to make another point here. So now when we go to the machine, this is how we're going to hold the dart. I will show you guys how we hold the dart. Please remember that we're also going to need to repeat the exact same thing on our lining. So this is the lining that we are dealing with. All right, so this is the lining that we are dealing with here. Okay, you're going to also need to do the same thing to mark, um, to get everything marked up. Okay, so you flip it over like so, you make a mark here, and then simply just repeat the same thing that we've done already. Okay, we're going to still do the same thing here. We're going to flip it over, look for the points where we find the points, we make a mark there. Now, because I've bent this part here, you cannot this there is automatically a crease at the points over at this part. So I make a notch, uh, a mark here, up and down. Now I'm going to show you guys how we we hold that on one side, and you're simply going to repeat the same thing for all the remaining sides okay so now it's time for us to hold the darts that's the next step now this is the back as you can see it and these are the points where i marked my darts so we're going to fold it like so okay you're going to fold it then you're going to use your iron and simply press it okay so that there's a line there okay so now it's time to hold the darts i'm going to start from small taper out to here i have an inch and then come in so that's what i'm going to do now When you get to this point, you now taper it out. Now when you're done stitching, you take it to your pressing table and use your iron to spread and iron it and lay it flat. Okay, so now it's time to hold the um, zip, uh, the um, zipper allowance. But now I know that at this point here, I took away half an inch at this point when I was making this curve. Okay, But when we are sewing our zipper allowance, be, um, because of this half inch here, we will not say that we'll hold two inches, one inch, uh, uh, and then come up. What we'll do is anything you hold here, hold it all the way through. It's when we fix our zipper at two inches into this point and now that is when the dress will sit into her back like that okay if you hold less here because you took out something from here this would not have been this would not be effective so the same thing you hold at the top i kept two inches you hold two inches everywhere all the way down if it's 1.5 you kept 1.5 all the way down okay so now this is the back that i'm dealing with now this are this is the um, two sides of the back the one underneath and the one on top i've ironed um both sides now i'm going to run two inches from the top all the way down to the bottom now 
now um if you are wondering for um if you are confused about where you fix your zip what you do is this you measure from here okay you measure you measure from this part here this red part you're going to measure it all the way down to here okay so at this line here we have um 17 17.5 so that is where you will lock it for your zipper so you're going to now do the same thing you come here okay you come here all the way to the hip line okay on the hip line we have 17.5 so i'm going to measure it so at 17.5 i'm going to lock i'm going to backstitch so that it locks it in one place and also when you're coming from the top do not backstitch at the top because we will need to loosen it Please make sure that you backstitch at the bottom. Okay, so now we are done with this part. I'm going to go and spread an iron. Okay, spread an iron and then I'm going to loosen the all the seams that you can see here. After ironing, I'll loosen all the seams to this point. So let me go and iron. Also do the same thing to your lining. Now as you can see, I have ironed um, my the two sides flat now this is where my this is where i i, I locked where i backstitched because i um, wanted to lock it i'm going to loosen from the top all the way down to that point please when you are done with doing this repeat the exact same thing on your lining okay okay so now after you're done with this and you've done your lining the next step is to fix our zip